In this video, I want to do three different things. First, I want to test this stone to see if uh, it's going to change my water chemistry when I add it to the aquariums. Checking to see for uh, an increase in water hardness and pH. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the master uh, test kit from API. If you don't have one, that's fine. You can use lemon juice or vinegar. Uh, secondly, uh, any of these rocks we get a reaction from, uh, we'll talk about when it's still safe and appropriate to use it. They can still be used in certain uh, situations. And then third, how to sterilize your rock without boiling it. I'd never recommend boiling stone or rock. It's rare, but it can explode. We're going to be using API's Freshwater Master Test Kit. If you don't have one of these, I'd recommend having one in your toolbox. It's real easy to use. It's accurate. You know, test ammonia, pH, nitrites and nitrates. And you can test your stone too. Inside of this box, you'll find this bottle here. It's the, uh, the nitrite number uh, one, bottle number one. You just put one drop of this on each rock and wait for a reaction. So I'm just going to put one drop on each rock, see if we get a reaction. And I did wash all these rocks to make sure that if we do get a reaction, it was from the stone itself and uh, not from any debris that might be on it. I don't know what kind of rocks these are. I, uh, I just found them outside, brought them in. I thought they looked interesting. I'm not seeing any reaction at all. So all of these are fine. They won't change your water chemistry, raise your pH, your hardness, or anything. So these rocks up here, this is limestone, dragonstone, and mountain stone. The dragonstone and mountain stone really commonly used for hardscapes in the aquarium hobby. Let's do a little test here. Hmm, got some glare. That's, that's uh, fizzing up. There you go. See it bubbling? So there's a reaction there. I am getting a little bit of a reaction in spots. And lastly, oh yeah. That's fizzing up. When you see it fizzing up like that, you know it's going to increase your uh, water hardness and your pH. The chemical that we're using out of this test kit, it's actually an acid that reacts with carbonates and bicarbonates. And that's the reaction that we're seeing. So that will increase the pH. However, your pH will top out. Uh, usually right around 8.2 to 8.4. Uh, and over here, I got some limestone in this. It's been in here for over a week. So in that test kit, there's these vials that you fill up with water right to the mark. I don't know if you're seeing it. And then you just add this solution right here into it. It's the uh, high range pH solution. You add five drops. So I'm right to the line, shake it up, add five drops. Put the cap on, give it a shake. And then you just match it up with the color code on the back which here's the, uh, the high pH range right here. And I am at an 8.2. It's been in that, in that container there at least a week and it maxed out at 8.2. So there are fish that I can keep in here with that. African cichlids for sure. That's what a lot of this stone's actually gonna be used for is a cichlid tank, so I don't mind the pH going up that high. That will be fine. So thirdly, uh, sterilizing it. I don't boil it. I'll actually put it right into a, uh, a tub and let it soak and I'll rinse it all off. Um, what I do is I use a half a cup of bleach to five gallons of water. I'll do that, go to work, come back, you know, I'll wipe it all off with a rag or something, 
rinse it off a couple times real good, let it dry. Now it's nice and sterile. So I hope the, hope the video was informative. Hope it helped you out.